plaintiff, Jonathan Franklin, says when the defendant was a teenager, she had a crush on him, but he didn't pursue her until years later. Jonathan claims while dating, he financially supported the defendant, but then he discovered she was dating another man. So he's suing for fraud and emotional distress. Defendant Jasmine Glass says she's known Jonathan since she was 15 years old and she has always looked at him like a big brother. Jasmine insists she and Jonathan never dated and she's countersuing him for emotional distress. Start with you. Uh, the honor, I tried my best to avoid coming here today and uh, I really care about the defendant very much. And uh, it's just the nature of how you she- You care about her very much. Where do you know her from? Give me some background on your friendship. Uh, I've known her for about 12 plus years. I'm friends with her family. You know, it's more of a family friend. Uh, about a How year. much interaction did you have with her over 12 years? Yeah, I'm pretty much almost seen her every day unless she was- For 12 homeless. years? No, uh, for about, I went to the military. There was some separation there mm -hmm. for about three years. Okay, so nine years you all had regular contact. I'm just trying to see how you care so much about her. Pretty much. And she's very close to you. Somewhere around You there. use that term, right? Yeah. We're very cl I care a lot about her. Yes. Just, uh, well, yeah, I've known just her. Just being around for pretty, eight well, years? Well, not exactly. Pretty much dating her. I mean, I didn't... Oh. There oh. you go. You <laughs> say you all were dating. Yeah. Well, no. This well, what no. I'm suing her for. You just said you were. Now you say, well, no. You see why I knew I was well, getting into this with you? Because I could tell the way you said it. <laughs> it was one-sided. I really care about her. I look at her face. She wasn't feeling the same. <laughs> yeah, I never dated. That's why I delved into it. You see why I knew I was well, getting into this with you? Because I could tell the way you said it. <laughs> it was one-sided. I really care about her. I look at her face. She wasn't feeling the same. <laughs> Plaintiff Jonathan Franklin says while dating the defendant, he financially supported her. But then he discovered she was dating another man. Go ahead, ma'am. Let me hear yes, from you. Yes, sir. I've been knowing this guy since I was 15. How often were you all in regular contact? I was in contact. He was in contact years. with my brother. So when my brother introduced him, I'm like, who's this guy? You know, so because him and my brother used to play Yu-Gi-Oh okay. cards together and stuff like that. So I'm just little girl running around. Hey, new New guy, weird, you know, so I'm like, okay. But we really never dated at all, you know. I looked at him as a big brother because my older brother, he's doing a lot of stuff now. So I barely spend time with him, you know. So I looked at him like, hey, you know, can you help me out and stuff like that? He's like, sure. Help me out with what? You like, say you uh, didn't know Teach her. me how to drive. Like, I just got my permit, you know, this year. So I was like, hey, can you teach me how to drive over the years? You know, woo -woo. he's like, sure. Did you say at some point you looked at him as weird? Yeah, like, okay, like but who's suddenly, hold on. Home? Like, well, how did you go? <laughs> how did you go from looking at him weird to wanting his help? What changed? Um. Well, after I had kids, you know. And you needed help. Yeah. So you say I go to the weird guy. <laughs> no, not not technically, not technically. This is gonna. Be I'm going fun. with what you say. <laughs> not technically. It's just like when I didn't have no help, he was there. Right. Yeah. The weird guy. The weird guy. Yeah. Can I clarify this yes, uh, history? Uh, when she was 14, she had a crush. Huh? I didn't have a crush on her. No. She would flirt to the point where her parents would be like, "What are you doing?" And then if her parents knowing me, I was a virgin until 23. So at the time I was a virgin. This is pretty much feeling her crush. Uh, when she does her little flirt flirt, she likes to rub her body against me. And when her uncle- Your honor, can I object? No, let him finish. When her uncle came in, her uncle seen it and was basically, well, not her granddaddy. Her granddaddy seen it and was basically assuming we were doing something. Came and drilled us both. And this is her 15. When was that? Oh, when she was when 15. She's 15. Mm -hmm. uh, when after he, soon after he leaves, we tell her and her parents tell her, there's nothing going on. You know, I'm not that type of person. He comes back with uncles, gets us all beat up. After this, I don't, we don't, I don't go over there no more and I pretty much go to the military. After I come back from the military. What year? Uh, How long ago? Oh, I went in at 09. Okay, we're talking 2012 or so. Yeah. All right, that's when you all resume and, your friendship. You know, when, when I came back, she, you know, she had changed a lot. She had kids and stuff. So, you know, I wasn't really into her then, wasn't really into her back then. But her mother asks me to pretty much date her to get her from her 
boyfriend. I have the proof of that. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll give it a try. I come to Jazzy and I ask her, well, why don't you let me try to date you? So this was really a charity case. <laughs> You'd have to clarify you that. You dated her, her, you dated her because your, her mother urged you to help her. I'm not gonna so date So you're somebody. a captain <laughs> save a lady. I guess you could say that. Her brother oh, called yeah, me that. Oh, yeah, because her mother said... Her mother said... The, re the reason you were dating her is because her mother asked you to. Yes, Your Honor. Her mother said, would you do me a favor? Would you date my daughter? Your charity case. Can I help, <laughs> sir? That's what he said. He said... <laughs> no, actually, I know this day like it happened yesterday. Okay, so we goes to the store. So my grandfather assumed that I was flirting with him. In reality, my oldest cousin liked him. She wanted him first, so I'm like, okay, go for it. I, he's a, I don't like him, you know. He, first, you say first. I don't she know what she's him. talking about, Your Honor. Tell me what happened. So no, you suing her for fraud yes. and emotional uh, do you distress. Want to see, they fraud a job of your this, money. What this, happened? What do you want to show me? This is her mother asking me. And my mother did me. not even say something. Her mother, let me see. Her mother did this is ask her mother me asking to be charity. Me. <laughs> Basically, like you said, be charity. <laughs> Nick on his way back over here. Mr. Butch wanted you and her to come over and he hid in the house. He don't like Nick. Now, who is Butch? Her husband, your Our, mother's uh, husband, or some boyfriend? boyfriend, yeah. Okay. He says she can do better. I'm having trouble trying to convince her of that. Please help me. My mom? She tell you to do it like her boyfriend does her. Spoil her with monies and gifts. Show her your worth. She'll leave Nick then and get a haircut <laughs> and clean yourself up. Yeah. Get some expensive clothes and some cologne. <laughs> Your mother something else if she texted. <laughs> My mother? That's what he said. Let her see it so she can. <laughs> <laughs> and I told you this. I told you. She... What in the world? <laughs> she... <laughs> Plaintiff Jonathan Franklin says while dating the defendant, he financially supported her. But then he discovered she was dating another man. How does she owe you? What does she do okay, to defraud so you? We're pretty much dating. And she uh, has a toothache at one time. I bring her, she needs a chicken lao mein because she can't eat anything hard. So I bring her the chicken lao mein. And when I do this, Nick is coming out of her room. So I go in there and talk to her mother. She comes in there and says, why can't we just be friends? I'm like, okay, yeah, we can be friends. You do something for me, I'm like, I'll take you to the movies. Hey, next time you can take, wait, you don't have a job. Okay, well, maybe uh, you feed me and I can, wait, you can't do that. Then. Well, you do stuff for my mom. Well, your mother feeds me. Every time I come in here, she's feeding me something. This is why I do stuff for your mother. We're friends. How does she defraud you? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're going you're showing her for fraud. What okay, yeah, so, so, well, well, the reason I'm telling you this back history because it kind of goes into what happened. Because when she had did what she had did, Tell me what I, I wasn't really into her at like that. I, I got your point now. Tell me what happened. So about six months later, she calls me and says that she needs help to go to the store. I ride her to the store. And during this conversation, she's pretty much saying that she misses me and that we, uh, she uh, sorry, and that we can try to work on our friendship again. At the end of this day, she lays a fat, wet kiss on me and I'm... You so it was not. Go ahead. Uh, well, so around the second week, I'm like, well, can I, you know, take you out places, date you, you know, spoil you, love you long time? She's like, sure. I'm waiting for somebody to spoil me. <laughs> so I do this. She needs diapers. She needs food because the baby daddy's not helping her because she's not basically giving up nothing. And you give her what? And why is it fraud? I'm told I gave her three hundred and ninety dollars. Mm hmm. The first time when she asked for money, I gave her $50 first and then gave her- extra. When was she to repay it? Uh, well, I told her that I don't want to give her no money if she's with another when man. When was she to repay it? I didn't tell her to repay it. All right. Have you asked her to return the money? Yes. And you asked her for how much? I told her to return the $50 I gave her. How about the other 340? These, well, I would ask her to turn and return it, but I know I'm not going to get it. She doesn't have any money. Okay, how did she defraud you? Because she pretty much 
been lying to me. About what? Being in a relationship with another guy. Oh, right. So, um, this essentially, you're claiming there was a contract because there's no fraud unless it's an agreement. But from what I've heard, uh, you defrauded her. Let me go right over it real quick. <laughs> what the mother meant. Did you spoil her? Yes. Okay. Uh, with monies? Not only just money. I took her on dates. All right. Violation. <laughs> Gift, <laughs> gifts? Yes. Did you get a haircut? Yes. Barely. <laughs> Did you clean yourself up? Uh, she just wants me to get expensive clothes. I just wore the regular things I wear. Another breach of contract. <laughs> How about cologne? Did you get you some cologne? No, Your Honor. Well, ma'am, sounds like you got more of a fraud lawsuit <laughs> than him. And it still didn't work. You failed yeah. to meet the conditions of what you agreed to do. Mama told you to do all these things to get her away from Nick. Your Honor, these are two different times. You still with Nick? No, sir, I'm not. So, That's a lie, have man. you ever agreed to repay him no, anything? No, sir. Because yeah. the first card came through my door on my birthday. Well, technically, this next day, my mother's birthday. She knew about it. And Quiet, no, sir. I did not. Because me and my brother, we was all in my mother's room. We was like, I was like, my brother was like, hey, you got a card in a little black box that's next to my door. I'm like, okay. So I opened it up. Didn't have a name. I was like, okay, fifty dollars fell out. I'm like, oh, you know. And you want that back, sir? I'm yes, like, I wanted that back. Did you give her to her in a black box? I put it in her mailbox. Why? Because I told she asked. Has me, she asked you for it? She asked me that she needs help. I told her that I will not help. That her. day, or with regard to fifty dollars, did she ever say loan me fifty dollars? She didn't say the exact price. All no. right. Plaintiff Jonathan Franklin says while dating the defendant. He financially supported her, but then he discovered she was dating another man. Any evidence that she agreed to repay you? You got 20 pages. Just show one sentence. <laughs> but she said, I'll pay you back. And I have multiple cards. You read it. No, 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 let him read it. Okay. What she says, I'll pay you back. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm talking about, the card, uh, 50 I put in the card. What was with you? I didn't have a name, I cried when I got it. I don't know who gave it to me. And I read, the raw card read, take care. She's, I said, give me the money for what? Uh, uh, I bought my son diapers and whites. Cause you know, I do not take care of another man's girl. Sir, you said on that page that you were handing me that it says she would pay you back. And it said no such thing. So I'm going to conclude that you just attempted to perpetrate a fraud against the court. Your claim is dismissed. Yours is granted. Have a good day. You were tricking with this woman. You know that. Have a good day. I didn't come here to bash him. I just didn't know what was going on. He's a good friend, honestly, but he just wanted more and I didn't want to give in. Likewise, I care about her. Um, yeah, so, I really do. Hug? Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet me.